you hear that? I can't photograph the back of her head because she hasn't done it yet. All right, we are out. This was the final hotel for our little Philippines trip. And now we're on our way back to Sydney via Malaysia. <laughs> Apparently it's like zero degrees and 90 kilometer hour winds in Sydney. So and it's like 36 degrees and amazing here. I know, but I've had to dress for Sydney weather, which means I'm currently boiling. But never mind. Pia's just dressed in standard uniform, which is slinky. Yeah, this is my traveling gear, it's so comfy. It's your traveling gear, your gym gear, your life gear, and your work gear. <laughs> Quick pit stop to check out. Let's see how much mojito is Pia drank. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. Take care. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Sydney, here we come. Thankfully, the boat was still here for some reason. So we've got on, but we're not sure that our luggage has got on. If our luggage hasn't got on, at least we've got on. And we've got our passports, so we can still get home. But we've lost everything that we own. Well, not everything. So we're driving in the cab. We're just looking through, nice journey. And I look at his clock on the dashboard, and it said 8.21. And then I looked at our tickets here, and they said 8.20. And suddenly I realised that we were 20 minutes away from the port and we were nowhere near checking in. Thank goodness the boat was delayed. <laughs> we made it. We totally just made it. We're good. We're not good, we're just lucky. Man, if we'd have missed this boat, we'd have missed the flight yeah. to Malaysia. And if we'd missed the flight to Malaysia, we would have missed the flight back, back home. Yeah, we would have had a <coughs> flight, all new flights, everything. We would have missed the whole thing. That would have put a spanner in the works. Mm. That was our last boat ride in the Philippines done. Yes. It was freezing. It was literally like fridge temperatures. Like everybody in there was trying to figure out how to possibly get warmer. <laughs> and there was no way to do it. It was full on. <laughs> anyway, next stop airport and then back to Malaysia. Yes. Awesome. I managed to convince Pia to throw away a lot of the junk in a suitcase. And this is the first time she's actually below weight. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> Success, finally. Pia told them her hair straighteners are in there and now they've got a fragile sticker. <laughs> so we've just made a quick pit stop in the place that I kind of dislike the most. Not because it's bad quality, but because I have an absolute hatred of all things coffee. So Pia's brought me some stuff. <laughs> Thanks. I love coffee. The smell makes me want to be sick. <laughs> I've never had coffee in my life, fun fact. Yeah, like never ever. When she drinks coffee, I can't go near her for like half an hour. Oh, How did you feel the holiday in the Philippines went? Amazing. Did you enjoy it? Yes. What's your favourite part? My favourite part. Yeah, we got some good views there. Mm. And like jumping on that trampoline <laughs> and everything. That was just like the most insane water. It was good. Yeah, I wish I wish the weather had been better for longer. The coolest city was Bohol, I thought. It was like really pretty, like really colourful schools and like beautiful kind of landscape, really nice kind of city. Yeah. Um, I actually really liked driving over to Huma Island and looking at how you can live in Really, really different situations to what we live in. Like they literally live and eat without electricity in these like bamboo houses, and it was really tranquil and peaceful and in touch with nature. And you know, they're really living off the land. Like you, you saw like the farmers' market and things like that. So it's just cool and eye-opening to see how people around the world live. Would you live like that? Yeah. Even though you would never ever be able to have a hair straightener again. <laughs> I'm not sure you're saying that right. Yeah, I am saying it right. They told me in Hawaii, 
It's not ukulele, it's ukulele. I don't know how cool you sound saying it like that though. It's not horrible. Yeah, I know, it's not the coolest word. No. But it's the coolest instrument. I'd like to try and find a seat so that I can get a head start on my editing. The one thing okay. they don't tell you about doing a daily video blog is that you're never ever going to sleep. <laughs> I think consistently I've been in this bed around about two or three, just purely because it's so time consuming. Look, boxes made out of Coca-Cola cans and stuff. Oh, they're like Starburst wrappers. Now this is recycling at its best. <laughs> All right, so you smell that smell of cigarette right now? Yeah. Do you know what that is? A bar where you can actually go smoke. That smells throughout the whole terminal. A good way to ensure that you die early, kids. Oh, there's massages don't, here. Don't smoke in a closed room. Don't smoke at all, it's all bad for you. <laughs> so we're just sitting in the airport waiting to come back to Sydney. And we've just seen this online, check this out. The people having way more fun than you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's PR. And Pia. And Pia. It says, while the rest of us do battle with the wind and rain on this morning's commute, meet the it girls of Instagram who fled abroad in search of winter sun. What about the Instagram husbands that also got to go along for free? <laughs> you know what I like? What? That I'm an it girl. No. <laughs> I've always wanted to be an it girl. No, I don't think you even know what that even means. Yeah, no, so this show should be called The Diaries of an Instagram Husband. Asterisk. And then at the bottom of the screen it says asterisk, not really a husband, comma, just a funny boyfriend. That, what was that video called? Instagram husbands. Oh, that that video Instagram. that went viral, it went viral on YouTube about how all these guys were like, yes babe, I'll take the photo now babe, click. <laughs> That's and kind we of... obviously thought it was hilarious because it's literally what our life is like. So we decided that he should make diaries of an Instagram husband. Plus, I'm a big fan of the Kevin Hart and Robin Thicke show. The Real Husbands of Hollywood is very funny. So if you know any other Instagram girls with husbands slash boyfriends that want to be in a mega show... <laughs> Are you going to try and make the, the Real Husbands of Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> Let's like do it. a reality TV show. Do you want to be my reality TV show? <laughs> getting a little carried away with this. Actually, we're going to be looking for two interns when we get back. I'm picking them. Send your, your email me your photos, girls only. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not how you, No, you will have nothing to do with the interns. I will pick interns. I'm going to pick them. Oh I'm going to hit the gym as soon as I get back. I've realised from this blog that I'm actually quite fat. <laughs> well, <that's> <laughs> <laughs> You may have noticed. I didn't take my top off very much in this last 10 days because <laughs> I've been eating so much curry and I've been drinking so much beer while I'm here. Yeah, you've been enjoying yourself. I literally ballooned. It was terrible. It's like I was bloated, but every day I got more bloated. So before Europe, I'm going to look like so ripped. It's not even going to be funny. So. Oh, you better hold yourself to that now. You've heard it on the vlog first. So whenever they say, rows one to five first, I'm that sneaky person that just goes and goes to the front and goes, Oh sorry, I thought you said row 64. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked! Yay! We're through! <laughs>
just about to get home and see the dog. It's a very exciting time for us. <laughs> You've got me now, Moose, that you pin me. <laughs> oh, I love you so much.